It is official. The Chiefs win for the second year in a row. And after watching that game last night, I couldn't help but keep picturing what it would have looked like had the Detroit Lions been able to clean out that second half with the 49ers and make an appearance with the team that they uh, beat for their very first game of the season. It would have been incredible to have the Chiefs as the very last game of the season. But nonetheless, that is okay. Uh, it is really interesting to hear that both Aaron Glenn and Ben Johnson have decided to stay with Detroit. Uh, both had kind of opportunities to ha take a head coaching job elsewhere, um, but with unfinished business at hand, they decided to stick around with the Lions, which super exciting, as well as Ragnow, our center, um, which is really great to hear. So really excited to see the season that uh, they, that's coming up for them and what they can do uh, to, uh, to the city of Detroit, what they can bring. So really excited for up and coming. But nonetheless, let's talk about some of the trailers that dropped for maybe those of you who didn't watch the full online trailer once they released, uh, or even maybe some of you who didn't even watch the Super Bowl can give you a quick rundown of the trailers that debuted. First up, it's not really a debut trailer, but they did have a Knuckles uh, teaser there. Uh, Knuckles uh, coming for stemming from Sonic. The uh, first two movies, Knuckles comes in at number two, um, and now he's getting kind of a six-episode series on Paramount+, Plus, which I was actually quite shocked to see them drop a teaser for the Super Bowl, considering how expensive the times were, uh, time slots. But nonetheless, Idris Elba is coming back for the voice of Knuckles, and then obviously later on, I don't know if it's this year, but we are getting Sonic 3 with Jim Carrey returning as uh, Robotnik, which is actually really exciting to hear considering he was kind of done with acting unless something was written in gold or something that just really spoke to him. So it's good to see him returning for Sonic 3. It kind of means, so what I translate that to is he's enjoyed playing that character. And of course, why wouldn't he? He kind of just fits that role and he's played it so well. Uh, really haven't laughed as hard uh, seeing him play in that uh, that role than, than, than previous roles I've got to see him in. So really cool uh, to see him kind of envelop that character and see what he brings to the table for Sonic 3. But they did have a Knuckles teaser, uh, which again, watching the, the couple trailers that they've released over the last few weeks, it does look very good. Promising for a six episode series on Paramount+. Plus. Be sure to check it out if you didn't. Next up, we had the Wicked trailer drop, which I think I heard about them making it, but I didn't expect to see anything uh, related uh, Super Bowl uh, teaser spots. Uh, but Wicked actually looked pretty good. Uh, we have a couple characters, a couple singers, pop artists that are playing some characters in there, which is fine if it serves the role well, and I think it uh, it will. Uh, Jeff Goldblum looks like he's playing the wizard, uh, which again, uh, it's kind of cool to see an origin story, I guess, for the Wicked Witch of the West. And here we are. Uh, leading up to uh, people that have maybe seen it on Broadway or theater, so maybe they're excited to see it. Uh, but I actually was surprised with how good it looked and kind of looking forward to seeing that when it comes out. Uh, one that kind of was taken by surprise was the new Twisters movie. I've heard a lot about it. I've heard it's a sequel. It's not a sequel. It's a reboot. It's a remake. Uh, but what it looks to appear to be is a standalone sequel. So whatever that means, uh, I guess it's kind of taking place in the same world that Twister took place. Uh, but we have Glenn Powell in there, which obviously from uh, the big impact he had was uh, Top Gun Maverick. He's kind of a standout in that for me. Uh, really excited to see uh, effects that they have in there. Obviously, it has to it had better hold up to the original because we watched the original not too long ago. And it's just a classic, in my opinion. Um, so to see some of the trucks and some of the, you know, they kind of uh, ground themselves to the, uh, or drill themselves to the ground in the midst of these heavy winds, it kind of looked really interesting. And actually super excited to to check out Twisters when that comes out. Big hot one, though, was obviously the uh, Deadpool and Wolverine trailer uh, with Ryan Reynolds and then obviously Hugh Jackman set to return as the legendary Wolverine, which kind of, again, he kind of hung his cape in that role, so to speak, and uh, but they actually dragged him back into it, and uh, he was more than willing to, especially after seeing the well reception of the first two Deadpool movies. That looks really actually intriguing and exciting. Love to see Hugh Jackman back in the role with Deadpool. In the very opening of the trailer, you kind of see the TVA, which is that callback to Loki, if the, those of you have watched the Loki series, and then that's going to kind of be how they explain 
uh, bringing over this Fox property into the MCU. The lengthy trailer online uh, shows little to no Wolverine, but you kind of get a tease there at the end. Uh, so they're saving the best for last. Uh, but again, looks good. Looks interesting. If you haven't seen the new Deadpool trailer, check it out. Let me know what you think. It is going to be Deadpool that kind of brings back a revamp to the MCU. I feel like that's just kind of taken a dip uh, over the last uh, few years, uh, especially ever since the kind of culmination of um, Avengers Endgame. However, uh, the Loki series, I really thoroughly enjoyed. Um, so uh, going to be interesting to see what the Deadpool and Wolverine do to the franchise. But one of the last and not certainly not least, uh, they had a kind of a lengthy teaser for the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. And with the initial teaser that they dropped a few months ago, it, I mean, it kind of looked good, but you just didn't know what to expect. But then watching the full trailer online, it looks really good. And out of all the trailers, that was probably the one that I was most excited for, just because it does pay a lot of homage to the uh, original trilogy that came out and uh, kind of looks exciting. Where are the human activists at? I want to know. Uh, no, but it is kind of a cool reflective state um, of those prior movies and then going into this new one, which I think takes place a good uh, 100 years or so after the original trilogy. And you kind of have now this Kingdom of Apes, uh, which looks really good. So kind of the most exciting one uh, was definitely Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. And then Twisters, uh, kind of in a, in a close second, just because, again, it does look like it's going to be paying homage to the original while kind of standing alone on its own thing, maybe trying to kill Twisters. I don't know. But it did kind of look gritty and look uh, look good, especially with some of the visual effects that, that are in there. So if you've seen these trailers, what did you think? If you haven't, please do check them out. Let me know which one uh, you're looking forward to. Are you excited for the Knuckles show uh, premiere that they're uh, releasing on Paramount Plus? I, I certainly am. I do like Idris Elba, uh, so I will be definitely checking that out when it drops. But let me know what you think. Please share it, and thanks for scrolling by again. You guys have a blessed day. We'll see you next time.